Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to redo the Leave It video for you. We did this a few weeks ago, but um, I didn't put it on YouTube, so I'll just do a special one for YouTube, just for you, you lucky people. So, we'll just grab the dogs and we'll get you going, alright? Okay, and then and some treats. Don't forget the treats. So I'll just leave you there. Um, so, oh. right, puppies and dogs who haven't learnt this one before are going to pull, hence the lead. So, what you're going to do is you're going to use some boring biscuits because these make it, so don't use anything too hot value. So, what you're going to do is you're going to chuck it out, and your dog will pull you towards that treat. Ideally, they should not get the treat you've just thrown out. I underestimated the length of this lead. So, you're going to chuck the treat out and leave. Good boy, good. So when your dog either returns to you, looks back at you, has loosened up on that lead. So there's no... There's no tension on that lead there at the moment. He's not pulling me. Leave. Leave. Go, 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 Leave. Good. If he sits, if he looks back at me, then he gets a reward from me. He's not allowed that one that is on the floor. The leave it means do not touch. Doesn't it? So the next stage is having treats along the floor, in the line, or dotted around the place. You're going to walk your dogs over them, through them, along them, whatever you want. But your dog is not allowed to touch what's on the floor. Now if you want your dog back on lead for this, that's fine. But if you think you can, then try it off lead and see how you go. If your dog fails, go back to on lead and we'll start from there again, okay? Seven dogs. Leave. 
the time you want to be keeping an eye on your dog. So if your dog has a look at one of the one of the biscuits on the floor, then you want to uh, get your leave it command in there, remind them what they're meant to be doing. And if your dog speeds up or he's slowing away from you, then you know that he's probably going to try and go for one. So <laughs> just keep an eye on your dog. You know what your dog's like. So just add in that leave it command where you think is necessary to make sure that they don't fail. Okay, so the next one after that is gonna be having your dogs in the sit, your dogs to wait, and you're going to be chucking treats past them, between their legs, close, as far away as you like. Make it as difficult or as easy as you want. I would recommend starting off easy, so chucking them nice and far away from them, and then gradually working your way closer and closer to their, to their feet, so that they have to use their leave it command. So, dogs in the sit, dogs in the wait, and you're gonna chuck treats and leave. You're then going to pick up the treats on the floor and you're going to reward them from your pocket. Great, if you can do that then you can move on to the next one which is the dogs in the down and you're going to be throwing the treats just as you did in the sit but you can also be putting them on their paws, around their body, make it as difficult as you can. Okay, so the dogs are in the down and I'm going to start putting treats around them. So all you need to do now is pick up the treats and reward them from your pocket. Excellent, if your dog can do that, then you're getting on really well. So the next one, or the, the top one, the finishing one if you like, is to offer your dog a treat and to have them leave it. So you're gonna have biscuits in your hand, you're gonna offer them open palmed, you're gonna ask them to leave it. Just imagine you're in the park and you're coming up to um, a family having a picnic and the kid wanders over to your dog to say hello but she's got chocolate buttons in her hand. So <clears throat> obviously you don't want your dog to eat those chocolate buttons because it'll make the meal. So what you wanna do is you wanna give your command to your dog to ask her to leave and then call your dog back afterwards. not trying to take them at all. He sat down in front of me, he's waiting for his next command as to what to do. So he's a feel of good boys when he gets a biscuit. Good. So the leave it you can use for anything that you don't want your dog to have. So if it chases foxes, squirrels, birds, runners, joggers, cyclists, anything like that in the park, then you can usually leave it and you can ask them to come back to you using your recall. Same with if um, your dog is more interested in seeing other dogs in the field or in the park, you can ask your dog to leave it and get your dog to come back to you. 
Lever is one I would really recommend getting very strong in any dog because it's a really, really useful tool when you're out and about on, on your walks and things like that. It's, um, it's one I would um, consider a very, it's one I would really consider highly up there with your recall as a, as a very important um, training technique and uh, command to have in your, in your arsenal. So I hope that helps <coughs> and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.